Good evening, guys. Tony here once again. It's Monday night, August the 29th. Uh, this is just a little short video. It's an amendment to last night's video. You can call it part two, but um, this is just an, an update or an, an amendment or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I had uh, some information that came to me today when I was at work that I guess because I'm getting older and I can't remember nothing I totally forgot about that was totally connected to what happened yesterday and um, I wanted to tell you about it and so what I'm gonna probably do is just go over the whole thing again but you can go back and watch the other video if you want so you can see what it was about but I think I'm gonna go through the whole you know the whole what happened again because I think there's more to it I think that you know there is some some um, timing in here too some rapture timing because that's all I've been asking the Lord lately is when, 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 you know, how, what, I'm asking him for signs of, of the timing, you know, how close are we to the rapture? And then this is what happened. I felt like he was leading me one direction, but he may have been leading me also in another direction too, maybe to be undis or discovered later, which was today. <laughs> so anyways, if you haven't come to Lord Jesus Christ, do it today. Second, uh, I'm sorry, first Corinthians 15, one through four, that Jesus Christ died on the cross, he uh, was buried according to scriptures and raised on the third day according to scriptures. If you believe this with your heart, confess to your mouth that Jesus is the Lord, you will be saved and sealed to the day of redemption. Um, you can't earn salvation. It's a free gift. Um, in Romans uh, 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death, the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's the, we earn death. I mean, that's what we've done. Doing our, you know, because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. The Bible says we've actually earned the penalty of death because of our sins. But the gift of God is, um, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. So when you accept Jesus Christ, you're given the Holy Spirit, which lives inside of you. It changes you. It makes you a new creature. And you also receive the Holy Spirit. Um, I mean, you also receive the gift of eternal life, which um, you know, you cannot lose. Um, you, it, it seals you to the day of redemption, and you cannot lose it. Um, it's eternal. That's why it's called eternal life. Um, you can't lose your salvation, um, and there's nothing you can do to gain it. There's nothing that you can do by works to earn or gain eternal life. It's a gift from God. I just clearly said in, in Romans um, 6.23, the wage of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So you know it's the gift and you can't earn a gift. It's given to you freely. Um, and, it's, and it's done by, because of your belief um, in Christ and what he did on the cross for your sins. Um, in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9, it says, You are saved by um, grace through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man would boast. So therefore, it clearly says that you cannot earn um, this gift. It is freely given. And um, you, you can't do anything to lose it either. So put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ today before it's too late. Because we're not promised another day and time is running out. Guys, just remember, it's all about the blood that Jesus shed on that cross. And he gave everything for us, every drop of blood and his life for our sins, past, present, and future. So put your faith and trust in him today. And I want to get to this really quick. Uh, yesterday, I made a video, okay, and what, what it was about was simply that I had started watching a movie. It was called Badlands. It was on Amazon Prime or whatever. And uh, there was this actress. She was a co-star or, you know, one of the co-stars in the movie. She wasn't a leading, had, she had the leading role, but she was definitely had a, a pretty big part in it. And um, I'm watching that movie and my wife was wanting to watch something. And she told me about a movie and I had found a movie called Look Away. When I brought it up to her, she said, yeah, that's the movie I've been wanting to see. So ironically, I picked out the same movie she was already wanting to see called Look Away. So I said, all right, well, I'll pause this. I can watch this later. And I went over and started watching that movie. And it was also on Amazon Prime. So this didn't really shock me that the, the um, supporting actress in that movie was also the same woman that was the supporting actress in the movie called Badlands. And I don't remember her name. I should have wrote it down for you. Um, anyways, it doesn't really matter. The point is, both movies was the same woman, same actress playing two different roles, okay? So just keep in the back of your mind twins, because this is the theme of all this, is twins. Uh, the good and the bad, okay, the duality of man. That's what I was going with this yesterday. So then we start watching that movie called Look Away, and it's about this young girl. She's like 18, fixing to graduate, and she's picked on really bad. She'll be persecuted by her friends and everybody. Her daddy acts like he doesn't love her, and he's very, you know, just all these things are going on in her life, and she just like 
snaps or something. And she starts her, her like a alternate personality comes out in the mirror and starts talking to her. Um, but it's actually her, her twin. Okay. She was actually a twin and her dad, um, he was a plastic surgeon. And when the twin was born, but it was deformed for some reason. And because it was deformed, he somehow either aborted it or did so did away with it. I don't remember exactly what happened because I, I wasn't really into the movie that much. But the point is that this this was a twin, okay? It was also a twin. And the twin was killed, murdered, let, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't matter. But like I said, this is, the, this is who was supposed to be the um, personality in the mirror. It was actually supposed to be the, the, the girl's twin sister that was taken or died or sent away or whatever when they were born. Although I know that's impossible, but you know, it's just a movie. So anyways, um, that was really crazy because first of all, you got the, the supporting actress in two different movies playing two different roles. And they just happened to be the movies that I planned to watch that day. Okay. So anyways, and then the movie, the second movie is all is about a twin. Now, the first movie called Badlands, the second movie called Look Away, and it's all got this theme of this duality theme, right? If you follow me, twins. Well, in the second movie, the girl that's just seeing herself in the mirror, her, you know, twin sister, alter ego, whatever, she has a friend. She only has one friend in the whole world, pretty much, that, you know, doesn't betray her, and she pretty much does, too, in the, but before it's all said and done. But um, she pulls up in a new car. The girl gets in. To the, she gets into the car and um, her friend says, so what do you think? And the girl says, uh, it's nice. And she says, nice? That's like a boy that you don't want to date. And she says, this is not nice. As if she's saying that, you know, it's better to be, you know, this is a, this car is like a bad boy. You know, it's not like a, it's not like a nice guy. It's like a bad guy or whatever. She rolls the windows down. She pulls back the uh, sunroof and she tells the girl, this is a 9-11. Because it's a 911 Carrera Porsche. Um, that's crazy because, see, all these things are happening dealing with twins that God is leading me to, okay? Um, guys, this is getting really deep, so just follow this, try to stay with me. All right, so today at work, I was thinking about all this and remembered that I had watched another movie before I started watching The Badlands. Completely forgot about it. It was a movie called Samaritan, it had Sylvester Stallone in it. It's about, uh, about these twin brothers, superheroes, or not really superheroes, but these two brothers that had special powers, uh, some kind of superpowers. One of them was good, called the Samaritan. The other one was bad, called Nemesis. Guys, I kid you not, you cannot make this stuff up. I don't know how I didn't think of that yesterday, but yet I did. I, it, it, that's what it was. But what I think I may have did mention, if I did mention it on the video, I told everybody else that Sylvester Stallone was like... Throughout the movie, this kid that was like idolized Samaritan, he saw his, you know, Sylvester Stallone, an old, he's an older man now, he's got gray hair and everything, he supposedly died with his brother in an explosion, but he's, um, he sees him work his special powers and thinks that he's Samaritan. So throughout the whole movie, he thinks that, the, this is a spoiler alert if you haven't seen this, um, through the whole movie, he thinks that Sylvester Stallone is the good guy. And, um... Anyways, to make a long story short, turns out Sylvester Stallone was actually Nemesis. The Samaritan's the one that died, and, some, and, some, and, and the uh, Nemesis character lived. So, um, now, I, I know that really, it's neither here or there, but the point is that it's about twins, and it's about this duality. And also, Sylvester Stallone tells the kid, after he finds out that he's Nemesis, because the kid now, he kind of like, likes him and everything. He's not, you know, he's like upset that he's nemesis, but he's not like hating him. He's like, you know, well, you're still a good guy and you're still a good person. <laughs> and so, so it's just so long says, well, there's a little bit of good and bad in everybody, which is exactly what the video was about yesterday. The duality, how we have this enmity in our spirit. The devil is always trying to tempt us and tease us. It's in our blood. It's in our DNA. It was, it was, it happened at the garden of Eden where we have to battle with our flesh. Our flesh is always battling against our spirit. Um, that evil that's inside of us from the Garden of Eden, you know, but Jesus is the fix to that problem. And that was what the whole thing was about, that, that you know, that, that no matter what happens, Jesus is, is, has already fixed that problem. So when you put your faith and trust in him, he corrects that 
that twin problem, that duality problem, and he makes us one new creature in Christ. We're no longer this twin, you know, thing um, or whatever. But guys, the reason why I thought this was so crazy, I said, I've been praying all weekend that God would give me some kind of a, a sign of when the rapture might happen. And I know if you guys have been following me, you know that in September the 7th of 2020, I heard shofars supernaturally. And they were in a kosher Jewish way. It wasn't just random horns blowing. And um, I heard it again in November the same year on November 7th. Now, September the 7th happened to be Labor Day. So there's a whole lot of things connected to this, guys. But 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 suffice it to say this, September's the ninth month, November's the 11th month. I heard them on ninth, on ninth month and 11th month on the seventh day. I believe that God was pointing to 9-11. I didn't know what year. However, however, now I was thinking that the 9-11 could have just been God just saying, here's your warning, here's your shofars, here's your trumpets, get ready. But I also remember there was two days, it was two different dates. It was September and November the 7th. So two different dates, two different shofars, because one played a certain number of blasts, the other one played a different number of blasts, but they were still similar. It was the same shofar kind of sound. But it was two different dates, two different shofars, right? And um, so I'm thinking that it represented, the two and the two represented 22, like the year 22, like uh, 2022. But also because um, the twos, um, I believe it might have been two years. You know, two years from that date, from the date, but, but was it September the 7th or November the 7th? That part I don't know. But what's interesting is that it was the ninth month and the 11th month. Could God have been pointing to the 9-11, to two years from the date I heard the first shofar? That would be this 9-11, Okay. So it's possible, guys, because that's what I've been praying all weekend. That was the confirmation that I got was with them movies. Now, I'm not pr trying to promote Hollywood. I know Hollywood's evil. I don't even like watching movies. You can't watch a movie in front of your kids anymore because of all the bad language. I'm not recommended even going to watch these movies. I'll, all I'm trying to get at is the, 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 the connection there. All three movies that we watched had something to, had some kind of connection to this twin theme to this twins. And then the third movie that I watch happens to have a Carrera 9-11 in it. And they make this point to talk about the 9-11. Now, it's very possible that the movie being based on twins, that was just a little Easter egg thrown in. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But it is very interesting. And the fact that 9-11 um, was the shofars, the months of the shofars that I heard in 2020. So if you think about it, um, September the 7th, 2020, from uh, 2021 would be one year, 2022 would be two years. It's like a two-year warning to September this year. And there could be bookends on September through November because that might be when it all plays out. From the, from the rapture all the way to the, the tribulation, everything might play out between those three months. Now, that doesn't mean it has to happen on any, any certain date, but it might be that 9-11 this year has some very important... Some, there's something very important going to happen. Now, Repo Man 64 sent me this right at the last minute um, to add to the video because I did not know this. But he said, now here, I'm going to quote what he says. Not only was the first day of creation, September 11th, and Jesus' birthday, due to the procession of the sun, it was in Gemini when Jesus created everything. Now, this is just what he's saying. And I, and I, I can't bet it because I don't know how to use Stellarium all, but this is what he's figured out through Stellarium. And a lot of people do believe that Jesus was born on 9-11 and that somehow the devil has like doing these bad things just to try to mess up Jesus' birthday. Now, wouldn't it be something if 9-11 was Jesus' birthday and Jesus is going to rapture us out of here for himself, for a birthday present to himself on 9-11? Wouldn't that be awesome, guys? Well, Gemini is the twin. So what he's saying basically is due to the progression of the sun, because every 2,000 years the sun moves to a different constellation. At that time, the sun was in Gemini. This year the sun will be in Leo, which is interesting because Leo is the lion and Jesus is the lion of Judah. But it also it sits above in the constellation of Virgo this year. As it's in the constellation of Leo, it actually looks like a halo over top of the Virgin. The Virgin. So, um, I don't know. That's really interesting, guys. That's really interesting. There could be something to this right here. Um, so, 9-11, the sun was in Gemini um, on Jesus' birthday. And, and possibly also during the time that, that God created the universe. 
Jesus was the Word of God. He was there. He was present. He created all things. So um, that's interesting. I think just to go along with the fact that 9-11 could be a very huge date. And I'm not saying any of this is a fact. I'm just, all this is just thinking out loud. But I think, guys, that, that there's a reason why God showed me this stuff. And I think he wanted me to share this with the, the message I shared yesterday. I'm pretty sure that he wanted me to share that. But also, it could have been a time stamp too. Trying, God may have been trying to point us to this year's 9-11. Which is coming up pretty quick, guys. Two days, it'll be, I think, Wednesday. So is it Wednesday? Um, well, anyways, we're on the 29th. So we know we're a couple days away from September 1st. So the 11th ain't far away. It could be no more 12, 13 days away. So, guys, we're, we're approaching it very quickly. And, um, man, time has really flown by. So um, I would say that 9-11 is a high watch. Definitely a high watch could be the highest watch date ever. I certainly would say this, that September this year is definitely the high watch, highest watch month of all time that I've been a part of. And uh, in fact, from September through November, for that matter, you know, there's, there's a lot of things going on. Because in November the 8th, remember, um, or November the 7th and 8th is when the blood moon happens. And I had heard the last show for in 2020 on November the 7th, early in the morning, real early in the morning which could have been, have been the time when the blood moon might appear. I don't know. I haven't looked that up yet. I still haven't looked that up. I mentioned that in another video. But anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to tell you. This, that's why I said this was part two, because that movie Samaritan was about twins also. So we had a, I watched, so I wound up watching a movie about twins, about the man saying there's a little good and evil in everybody, and then a movie that had this one actress in it called Badlands, because we live in the Badlands. This is the Badlands, right? This is... this. The world was Babylon. It's just the Badlands, and then, and then you got um, this twin theme again because you got this supporting actress who not only plays in that movie but the very next movie that I watch, she plays a supporting actress in in another movie that's about twins. Well, you can't make this stuff up. Where they mention 9/11 being because it's a car, and she says, "How do you like my car?" And it's a Carrera 9/11. You know what? I mean, was that on purpose? I don't know, but but certainly. These things coming together was not on purpose, but it's not a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. God led me to the, those particular movies because I could have watched movies about anything, guys. I didn't watch the movies because of the twin theme. I just watched them because I thought that they were looked interesting. You know, that's all. That's I, I, that's all it was. I, I had no other reason for watching. You know, hey, superhero movies. You know, I'm there. I'm like a little kid when it comes to that. But you know, because I. Well, superhero movies reminds me of when, when Jesus comes to get us. We're going to all be superheroes, you know, and a lot more powerful than any of those comic book superheroes created by Freemasons. So really, guys, we will be superheroes. We are going to be heirs of God with joint heirs with Christ to God, and we will have eternal life. I mean, there ain't no superhero I can think of that has either of those qualities. So, guys, you stay encouraged because Jesus is coming back soon. I mean, he is coming back soon. And I would say, I, I think that he's coming back in the fall, uh, before the fall. I personally, I think he might be coming back before the fall because of the fall theme dream that I had. And I believe this might be the terminal year. If this is the terminal year, then all the dreams that I had are going to all happen this year. Everything in everybody's dreams, everything is happening this year if this is the terminal year. Then again, we don't know for sure, but we certainly we watching this September through November is going to be very, 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 very spicy. Like Brother Kevin always says, it's going to be very spicy. Um, there's going to be some stuff happening. I mean, we can see it in the world right now that there's some things going down. Um, I don't wish anything bad to happen to anybody, but I do see some bad stuff coming. So be warned, be ready, spread the gospel and look up and I'll see you like Brother Chute says, either here or there, but especially in the air. I love you all. Bye.